The K1 volcano of Iceland is full of surprise at the moment. We are seeing lots of flooding. The volcano has not stopped to produce uh, lava flows, and this is from the north side. Uh, you can see that there is a lava tube already there. I've had a video that I showed that uh, how it was created. As you can see, it has uh, flooded. The smoke is coming from the uh, lights of the on top of the lava tube. Lava tubes, in this case, are created by the overflow on the rim, and when it is there. It doesn't stop. You can see it's as if coming from nowhere, but actually it's coming from a hollow wall of this crater. K1, I will speed it up for you. I will show you the loca location of this, where it is. It is flowing toward the north uh, east into my uh, estimate. It is the area that is erupting. The circle you can see is the K1 crater, the last remaining vent, and that's the direction of the flow. This is how the uh, lava flow, overflow over the rim, creates a hollow. Uh, after the lava uh, moves and leaves a crust, hard crust. Through that hard crust, the smoke comes and the lava also can flow. I have the video, you can watch that. This is the way exactly how that lava tube was created. When it was created, I made that. The last remaining uh, crater uh, or went in the Sunuka crater chains of the Schwarzenegger volcanic system of the Reykjanes Peninsula in Iceland has now created a lava tube. It is spilling lava through that and draining practically the crater which is full of the uh, lava we have uh, seen this process in the previous eruption in this k1 on the south side this was in the northeast side this is in the southwest side over a spilling creates a hard crust and that hard crust through the core of it which is softer and is not exposed to the air lava starts to flow and the hard crust just is used as a vent for uh, um, you know, emanating gases. This is the little quarter we are seeing now, an example of this overspilling, uh, which created later a lava tube also. And the overspilling, as you can see, is starting now. Overspill through the channel that was existing, it was not closed yet, so uh, the length of this chasm uh, created here was around 25 meters. And then we had a huge overspill, and the channel, the channel of the lava was filled with that. You can see what I uh, mentioned here. Overspill creates a, a crust. Through it, lava flows, creates a cavity there, and the further lava can flow through that we have seen here. Uh, here, you can see that crust has formed on the top, and the lava is coming through that. It's not the base of the uh, uh, crater being hollow is just the lava tube formed now by the overspill and the base of it is open and is visible we can see that uh, the lava tube has formed and the lava is coming out of that drain in the crater